Um, yeah, look, today I'm going to speak about water cleaning and purified, and I'll go into that in a little detail. But basically with the business, I've been in business for a long time, and like I said, but mainly specialising in hotels when I first started, uh, nightclubs and so forth. We went from, uh, I was doing the heat nightclub, the, um, the number of different things, uh, and that just went on and on. And it was basically, this is way before B&I, and, I, and Look, the principle I had back then was all my work built and it all built from word of mouth. I didn't do any advertising and I ended up with a, oh geez, 15 plus hotels, same with nightclubs. And that all was with word of mouth through different managers and different people talking from hotels. Um, that went along beautifully till a, a massive corporation came along known as the ALH, the uh, Australian Leisure and Hospitality Group. Uh, with a guy called Bruce Matheson, who ended up uh, cornering the market. If you've seen that uh, Mick Malloy's um, one about the bowls, where he plays, uh, that's basically what happened. He, Bruce Matheson basically took over all the hotels of ALH. Uh, I had to then go and basically put a tender to about 50 plus hotels in Melbourne, uh, which uh, I put the prices way up because I didn't want it because it was out of, uh, I'd have to basically put myself in a heap of debt to start with to keep going. So I moved on to different groups, Cornerstone, John Nicholson Group, where they all offered me massive hotels, but I didn't want to take on the responsibility back then because it was far, far too many hotels. So I just stayed and kept my, didn't keep all my eggs in one basket. I diversified and little by little, I got into golf clubs, offices, and a number of other things which I've been fortunate to. And with COVID-19 at the moment, uh, like the golf clubs, have only, uh, we're only doing the gardener's rooms, but with the, uh, with the, with all the offices and so forth, we're actually doing all the hygiene sanitation program, which has kept me in flood. So it's great to diversify and keep it going like that. Now, if I click on something here, that's, have you seen that picture that's come up? Yes. Yeah. On the, the left picture, that's uh, me with Kirsty. There's two of my boys there that I've had with Kirst, which is Tristan and the older one, Trent. And that's my older boy from my first marriage, which is uh, Blair. Well, he's, he's the youngest of my first marriage. The other two aren't in there. Um, the one I'm pointing to at the moment... Folks, this is, this is me basically just going into business. And the picture, if you're looking at me now, is 39 years later in business. So just, uh, I suggest you look after yourself. Uh, on the right is a bit of my family. There's uh, my sister, Kath, uh, Jill, Pam and Heather. And the lady there sitting down is my 99-year-old mum, which we're hoping for her on... Uh, Feb the 8th, uh, where she turns 100. So she's with my sister, Kath, over there, and uh, she's living with her at the moment. And a couple of years ago, she decided that, uh, she said to me, Rick, I think I'm getting a little old. I should uh, move out of the flat that I'm in. And that was at 97 and a half. Uh, so I'll probably get my strengths from her in business to keep going. Because everyone knows in business you have your ups and downs. And uh, I was told a long time ago, enjoy your good times in business, but manage your bad times or your hard times, which I've done. Um, now going on to a little bit on window cleaning. What you see here is a water pur waterfied purified system, which is pole fed. Basically, you connect this unit to your normal tap water. It runs through there and gets filtered. The water that comes out goes through a pole fed system that goes onto a brush. Now this brush cleans the dirt off your windows. It's a ionic filtering system. So what it does is basically it catches the dirt and then you finish it off with the final rinse with the purified water. Being purified water, it actually 
cleans your glass without having to, with any droplets or anything left because of the purification. This is able to get up to, as you can see in this picture here, several, several flights. I go up to two stories now, and that's it. Uh, originally, I used to come down from the top of these and hang down and come down, which is a totally different system and more expensive. This, your feet are on the ground, the water falls on the ground, and you get the glass nice and clean. A lot easier system, cost-effective system. Um, give you an example. I used to do a house on the outside with a normal window cleaning method with the lambs a little squeegee. This system, using this on a house, is about a quarter of the time it would take me to do a normal house. And this also does your facades, garage doors. It'll do the whole window frame, the works. Everything gets clean with the system. Now, if I can move on to carpet cleaning. Now carpet cleaning, uh, there's that many different types of carpets. There's wool, there's nylon, cotton, polyester, acrylic, polypropylene. Now these are all different types of carpet. And you've got to be careful out there. I've known people to go out of business uh, where a guy has gone into a hotel, assuming it's a woolen carpet. He's used a hot water extraction system, truck mounted, with the heat up. He's basically destroyed their carpet because it was a nylon carpet. He's basically melted it. So you've got to be really careful on which carpet you're doing. Now, I, I have a, a chart. That chart tells me if I want to test the carpet, if I'm doing a massive area like that, I've got to do my due diligence. I actually pull out a fibre carpet. Now, if it burns, I put a little lighter to it on the little fibre that I've got. If it's an orange colour, it sputters a bit. Uh, I know that's the flame of it. I'm thinking, yeah, it's wool, but if I want to double check it, right, it smells like burning hair. Then I know, okay, I'm pretty good, that's wool. But if I want to chemically test it to make sure that it is wool, I drop it in some uh, chlorine bleach. Now, after five or 10 minutes, that will dissolve. So then I say, yep, that's wool. Nylon, totally different. Sorry, oh. Richard, you've got two minutes to go. Oh, geez, I'm only just starting. Okay, cotton, cotton, same, polyester, the same acrylic. All right. Um, what else do you need to know about me? I'll pull the pin there. Uh, basically, look, if you want someone who knows how to do windows, knows how to do carpets, who's got booklets, certificates, and that's just not just going and sitting in a room, that's understanding it, that's working it day in, day out for 39 years, I'm the type of guy you need. Uh, I can ensure that your carpets, whether it be polypropylene, get properly cleaned. Because there are that many different methods of cleaning. There's... Uh, as you can see in the picture, there's a swing shift there, and you can use that just to basically agitate the dirt and clean the carpet. Then you've got a system with a hot water extraction there with a wand. There's a truck mount there. Different upholstery or tools, one for doing stairs, one for doing your couches and so forth, or just using a regular steam cleaner. There are several different methods. Uh, do you have any questions? It's gone a bit quicker because I've had a bit more. Uh, what I would like to say is I'm actually going into Ultra Gleam Plus is now diversified. We also do plumbing, plastering, uh, painting, as well as I'm test and tag qualified. So I do test and tag work, as well as I'm just this week only due to necessity at one of the schools that we're doing, I've taken on a new washroom facility where people used to come in before and uh, they'd have a separate cleaner and someone else doing their washrooms where they'd do their paper towel, sanitary uh, uh, bins and uh, they'd do their hand towels, toilet roll holders, soap dispensers, air fresheners. Well, I do all that now as well. So that's all part of Ultra Gleam's package. So if someone wanted Ultra Gleam a business, we'd go in and be able to do the whole lot for them. Thank you, uh, Richard Green. Once again, quality is not an option. It is a necessity.